Now presenting the countdown to the creation of a countdown. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you to code something in Scratch that allows you to count down to any date. Plus, you can change the date at any time. Now, the reason why I'm making this video was because a year ago, I created a video showing you how to count down to Christmas. It basically shows you to count the months, days, hours, minutes, and seconds until Christmas. A lot of people liked making this, but some people commented, can I make my own countdown? So, whether you're celebrating your birthday, pie day, or talk like a pirate day, I'm going to show you how to make your own countdown. Okay, let's get started. If you've already made the Christmas countdown project, you can use that, but you're going to have to make a couple of adjustments. The first thing we need to do is we need to get rid of that cat! Um, just click on the garbage can. After we do that, let's create a new backdrop for our stage. Go to backdrops, then make your backdrop. I'm going to choose a backdrop, and for example, if we're making a birthday countdown, I'm going to select party. Now, let's create a new sprite and paint it. Let's have the first costume say months, days, hours, minutes, and seconds. Select the text tool, change this to the font you want and change the color. Then let's type in months, days, hours, minutes, and seconds. Great, now let's create another costume and paint it too. Let's create some text that announces the special day. For example, I'm gonna say, it's your birthday. Then let's make it bigger and reposition it. Great. Now let's go to the code and drag out a one green flag clicked block and let's set it to the center of the screen, which is x0 and y0. Great! Now it's repositioned at the center of the screen. Now that you have the sprite repositioned, you may want to change the text inside the sprite. I'm going to do that right now. Now let's create some variables. These variables will be the date that you want to choose. Go to variables and click on make a variable. Let's type in your day and your month. Let's also create another variable and call it days and month. Make sure to uncheck these boxes and we can also delete my variable. Now, drag out set days and month in here and let's duplicate it until we have three. Let's set this to your month and your day. Now, let's change these two variables depending on the date that you select. Let's set your month to the month that you selected as a number. For example, if you're doing July, since July is the seventh month, you would type in seven. Then type in the date in here, for example, six. Finally, days and month should be the number of days in the month that you select. Here's a chart in case you need help. Remember that February has 29 days on a leap year instead of 28. July is 31 days, so I'm going to type in 31 into here. Now, let's start the countdown code. In control, drag out a forever block. Now, let's see if the current day matches the date that you select. Drag out an if-then-else block, and then the operators, an and block. Then, drag out two equals blocks. In variables, drag out your month into here, and your day. Then, in sensing, Drag out current year in the here, and current year in the here. Let's set this to month, and this to day. Now, if the day does match, then let's set the costume to costume 2, or the announcement costume. In looks, drag out switch costume to costume 2. If it doesn't, then let's drag out switch costume to costume 2 in the here, and let's set this to costume 1. Now, let's create the countdown variables. In variables, let's create 5 new variables. Months, days, hours, minutes, and seconds. Make sure the five check marks are selected for months, days, hours, minutes, and seconds. Now, let's reposition them on the screen. Right click and select large readout and drag it into here. Do it for the other four variables. Make sure that they match. Now, we need to hide or show the variables depending on which costume is selected. Drag out show variable and let's duplicate it until we have five. Then let's set this to months, days, hours, minutes, and seconds. Then drag it into here. 
Next, let's do the same for hide variable. Drag out hide variable in here, duplicate it until you have five. Then set it to months, days, hours, minutes, and seconds. Then drag it in the here. Now, let's start counting down. Let's start by dragging out set days to zero and then duplicate it until you have three of them. Let's start with hours, minutes, and seconds. In operators, drag out a minus block in the here. In sensing, drag out current year and place it right here. Let's set this to hour. Then let's set this to 23. Let's duplicate this minus block for minutes and seconds. Let's set this to minute and second, and let's set this to 59 and 59. Great, now let's drag it into here. Month and days are a bit more complicated. Let's start by dragging out an if then else block, and let's detect if the current date is greater than your day. In operators, drag out a greater than block. Then in sensing, drag out current year and set it to date. Then in variables, drag out your day. Now, also in variables, drag out set days to zero. Then in operators, drag out a minus block in the here, then a plus block, and then another minus block. Now, in variables, let's drag your day in the here, then days and month in the here, and then in sensing, drag out current year, and let's set this to date. And then finally, set this to one. Great, let's drag it back in the here. Let's go back to variables and drag in another set days to zero block. This time, drag out a minus block and then another minus block in here. In variables, drag out your day and then one and then current date. Now, drag it back into here. Let's drag this back into the forever loop. Now, when you click the green flag, it will show the correct days until the specific date. Great! Now, let's do the current month. Let's start by duplicating this. Let's set this to month, and then right click here, and let's set this to your month. Now, let's remove these two. In variables, drag out set days to zero, and let's set this to months. Then, in operators, drag out a minus block, and then another minus block. Let's set this to 11, then current month, and then your month. Then let's drag it back into here. Let's drag out another set days block. Let's set this to months and then simply drag out a minus block. Then drag in your month and then current month. Then let's place it in here. For this one, let's drag it into here. Then let's duplicate this. Then let's change this. Start by dragging this out, then drag out the less than block, then variables, drag out your month, and then current month. Then swap these two blocks. Then place it back into here. Woo, that was a lot of code. If you did everything correctly, your code should look like this. And when you click on the green flag, it should correctly show the correct number of months, days, hours, minutes, and seconds. Okay, I have a confession to make. This video is really hard to make because of the days and months, and I didn't know at first how to make it. In fact, there still may be little bugs hidden throughout the code, and if there are any, I'll post them in the description and comments. Speaking of, while recording this video, I found that there is actually a bug that will show negative one days if the date matches, but not the month. To fix this, simply go to operators and drag out a minus block. Then set this to one, drag out your day in the here, and then drag this back in the here, and then everything should work properly. If it doesn't, check your code against this. And if you want to change the date, just change these variables to whatever you want. Thank you for watching this video. If you like learning how to make your own video games, hit the subscribe button. Also, if you have any ideas for a future video, make sure to comment them down. Watch out for my next video. Be there or be MC squared. See ya.